Hey everybody, welcome back. It's the Schmitzel. Today we're playing a different game, it looks like. It is Batman Arkham Origins. You know, it's weird for me. I don't want to go ahead and get the story started. I want to talk a little here because it's going to be a story that we actually want to pay attention to because I care about these games. I played pretty much every one of these games. Actually, I have played every one of these games except this one. It was on sale and I finally get to play it. So that's awesome for me because I love these games. I've really enjoyed them. I've heard some negative complaints about these games, but I'm not a critic. I just like playing games and the more Batman, the better. I've heard that they changed the combat system maybe a little. I don't know too much about it, but I've heard the story is actually probably the best out of all of them, which is interesting. Um. I almost started this recording with a, or my mouse and keyboard, and then I realized uh, I never have done that with any of these games. I've always done it with my controller. So for once, you will actually not hear the clicking of my mouse, and we don't have to worry about that problem and trying to fix that problem anymore, because right now we don't have it. So that's awesome, and now I don't have to be like so hunched up on my computer anymore. I can really sit back and play games like I used to on my Xbox. I used to be an Xbox 360 man, and then I became a PC man. Only due to the fact that the games I can get for really cheap and I can do a lot with a really nice PC such as video editing on uh, live action and in video game sorts of stuff. And also I get a powerful PC that can run and get better graphics than any console. N not talking crap about consoles, I really think consoles are cool, but they're just not for me. And I have an Xbox 360 controller only because it was a gift. I don't really have a preference on a controller because I haven't really messed with the controller market too much. Anyways, I've talked enough here, so let's go ahead and get started with the story here. I have not even, like, um, tried the story at all or anything. So don't expect too much craziness. Don't expect really anything. We want subtitles, yes. We want all the stuff. So we're going to go ahead and get it started. Um, yeah, I'm really excited to play this game, so let's do it. I want to keep in mind I, I don't want to be talking during these cutscenes because I want you to enjoy it and let you experience it too. I just want to do a quick little commentary here. I'm really enjoying how this game's starting out. Commissioner Loeb before it's too late. I want to have a. I want to talk to you about uh, mainstream games, triple A game, triple A games. I'm not really into playing them on my channel due to the fact that there's other people for that, and I don't want to be doing what everybody else is doing. I'm not sure how many people have. I've never really watched a let's play on these games. I don't really care. I I'm playing this because 
it's a nerd thing to do. I enjoy Batman. I've always enjoyed Batman, and I really enjoy the movies because I Christopher Nolan's one of my idols when it comes to filmmaking, to even though if that's a little overrated. So basically, I'm playing this game because I want to play this game, not because I th feel like it's going to get a bunch of views. No, it's just something I want to play, and I really enjoy these games. I, I felt me recording it would be interesting to see how these type of games really play out for me. He was just helping you out, buddy, and then all of a sudden you're being a jerk. I heard the rumors, but you you're not supposed to be real. Tore this place apart. I don't know what it is, it's huge. Where is Black Mask? I I don't know. He's here for Commissioner Lowe. Maybe one of his men knows where he's headed. I really enjoy the Batman storyline and everything. I, I've done some research on it. I had a friend who's really into it, so he talked to me about it a lot. Uh, would I be able to, like, do some trivia on it? No, but uh, I definitely am familiar with how Batman arised and all that wonderful stuff. Uh, mainly why I'm doing this game, once again, to reiterate the fact that I just want to see how these type of games go with my commentary style. It's a very different game for the type of commentary style I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be mainly playing indie games. I mean, that's just what I feel needs supported. I mean, I, I'm an indie artist in some sorts due to my recordings and also, um, my, uh, music. My music's indie because I'm trying something unique and different with my music and I feel like... I don't know. <laughs> what am I talking about? That is something I should be focusing on and also my gaming channel. But, you know, it's okay because this game is really good. <laughs> well, this game series is good. I don't want to sit there and assume that this game is good. But, uh, I... The combat feels familiar. Everything feels familiar. Right now it's been really fun. Batman's always been something at my heart that I've liked, so yeah, <laughs> that's all I have to say basically. Uh, I really enjoy these games, and I keep talking about how much I enjoy it, but it's these games definitely brought a whole thing of super or superhero games can actually be good. I know the Amazing Spider-Man games are trying to replicate what this game has, but so far I've heard it's not working. But I don't like listening to critics on stuff like this. I just like playing games. I don't want to sit there and have someone else's opinion really just morph how I feel about art and it's probably not really considered art but I would consider it art it's an art form even if they're just trying to make money off it it kind of changes the whole ball game if they're that's their one goal though but uh basically stop listening to critics is what I'm trying to tell you um they'll sit there and say oh it didn't live up to my expectations well stop expecting things from games you're they're not out there to please you sometimes developers do things to, because they want to yeah they're gonna make a game that people like, but they're not going to try and satisfy you to no end because if they try and do that, then they're never going to satisfy you because you're never going to be satisfied. You always want more. Is that Solomon? No, it's the croc. I, I don't know. It's been a while since <laughs> I've seen Batman characters. I, I was in a huge phase of it and then I stopped with superhero stuff. I was starting to get into comics, then I realized, you know what, I don't, not, no offense to nerds, but, or people who like comics, but, uh, I, I don't want to be <laughs> getting into comics. Plus, it's just not that, it's not my thing, and I thought it was, but it wasn't. So, yeah, anyways, comics are cool, but not for me, at least. 
I, I don't know. I, I feel if I try and do my normal commentary style with this, I'm really going to seem kind of pretentious. I, I, I feel like I seem pretentious in general, but uh, definitely more so of the fact that... Ooh, battering. Okay, you were trying to... The game's trying to tell me things, and I want to talk, and I don't want to talk. Or I don't want to do what the game wants to tell me to do. Uh, turn off that. So, yeah, basically, um, stuff, video games are cool. I like this game. I like other games. <laughs> Comics are cool if you were into that sort of thing. But, yeah, pretty much that's it. Bam. Anyways, so, yeah, I don't want to be too pretentious uh, because people really take the Batman story to heart because it really, it's some people's childhoods and I don't want to sit there and make fun of someone's childhood. At least, I mean, making fun of someone's childhood might seem a little funny sometimes, but maybe that's not the goal in life to sit there and ruin people's hopes and dreams. Maybe, yeah, yeah, words. Wow, Batman, you really are just telling me what to do. Why don't you fucking do it? Why don't you play the game for me, Batman? God, Batman, you're such a jerk for not playing the game for me all the time. You're telling me what to do, so why don't you do it? I can figure it out. Come on, man. I know I put tips on and everything, but stop it. Stop being a jerk, Batman. Pretty sure that's the croc. No, that's not Solomon Grundy. That's definitely the croc. What have I, got to show for? I mean, he's got the scaly skin, and I'm talking over the commentary, or talking over the dialogue. We're making some changes. Some big changes. You're a dead man walking, love. I was really expecting, one thing I was expecting from this game to be more of an origin story. I know Black Mask was part of the origins of Batman uh, in some of the comics, but I was like expecting like full on, this is why Batman is Batman, but I'm, I'm kind of glad we didn't get that because I'm kind of sick and tired of seeing Batman's origins, to be honest. Not that it's bad or anything, but once you see something so many times, you don't want to have to face it again in a game. And yeah, the comment, I heard someone say the, uh, uh, the, what am I trying to say? That the, uh, combat style really, uh, was different in this game, but it feels exactly the same, so I don't know what they were talking about. They gave it a poor rating because the, uh, combat st style was different. I, it feels exactly the same to me, so I don't know what was being said there, so maybe that person was just a raging lunatic who just doesn't like Batman. I'm just staring at this man right now. Look at him. He looks very angry, and I probably shouldn't mess with him. Um, so, back claw. And now we just mash A. I can, I'm Batman, I'm agile, and I'm strong, and I'm awesome and everything. So I'm expecting things to go to hell in this game, even though it's a prequel, I believe. I don't believe, I, I'm pretty sure it's a prequel, but I don't want to sit there and just make assumptions. But it is Origins, so you'd imagine that it would be a prequel. Isn't that the Black Mask guy, or is this just some other dude that looks like him? I'm pretty sure it's some other dude that just looks like him. That's okay. I don't want to end this video until it really calms down. Because, okay. Did I do it? Hey, that was impressive. I'm skilled at this game. In many ways. I'm hiccuping. It's not fun. Okay, so we know what to do here. We've done the song and dance already. In previous games and in this game. But no, once again, I want to talk again about how much I do enjoy these games. They're definitely fun. And I've definitely had a great time with them. It really got me into Batman a lot more, and for a period of time, they got me into Batman so much that I was spending a lot of my time on Batman. But now I'm kind of past that, and it might this game might redo that for me though. It might cause that same effect. Things have changed. 
starting with a clean slate. And you're not on it. What are you talking about? I'm not on it? After all I've done for you. Show's over, boys. Well, that really sucks for Batman, because I know he does not like when people die. Why didn't you just do that in the first place, Batman? Wait, Commissioner Loeb is dead. Black Mask has a lot to answer for. It's the Bat. We're never getting out of here. Ooh. Oh, did you like that, Vader? That was actually pretty good. Fucking... Oh! Oh fuck, ah, this is, that went bad. Okay, now I can handle this guy correctly. Kick him, yeah, okay, that's really good. <laughs> We're doing a really good job on kicking ass. This game's a lot about just beating the shit out of people, so maybe I should start, like, talking about it. <laughs> maybe, I don't know. It's weird for me for doing, I'm, I'm just really excited to play this game, and it's, it's kind of interrupting my commentary, that's fine. Being excited to play the game and being excited to put a microphone in front of it, and you might be hearing the vibrating, so I might want to turn that off, actually, due to the fact that I don't want to be picked up, so I'll, I'll turn it off in the next episode, but not this episode. Yeah, it is a killer croc. Okay, hey. Why is there a SD card right there? Back at the back? Why can't you do it here, Bruce? Come on. Oh, I mean, Batman. No one needs to know that you're Bruce. So we're going to keep assuming that we just keep going up right now and we're just chasing these people for some reason. It's Christmas Eve, man. You got to be enjoying your family and getting a date and stuff. Batman, uh, Bruce Wayne in this doesn't seem to be living the disguise. He seems, in that newscast, he seemed to really just be aggressive and kind of pissed off that people are bothering him. I guess that's just how he was in the beginning. I, it wasn't like that in uh, the movies, but that's a different story for a different time. Haven't we always feared the Killer Croc? Like, we've never been able to take him. I can't remember. Every time I see him in the other games, he was always really scary and we couldn't do anything with him. I don't ever remember taking him down, but it's been a long time since I played the other games. I mean, oh wow. How do I take this guy down? Okay, he does a lot of damage. And I should really be afraid of this badass. Because uh, right now he, oh, I see what I need to do. There is explosive. And I'm getting my ass kicked. And right now we're beating the shit out of Killer Croc, which seems kind of weird because that's not something we normally... Okay, that's scary. I'm, I'm tapping it. Don't think I'm not. Oh, you bastards. That guy's really getting in the way. Quit getting in my way, man. I will beat up the killer croc and you will watch me do it. Oh, wow. He just owned Batman. Escape, Batman. Batman, no. Don't do this, Batman. Should I be pounding this harder? I feel like I should be. I should actually be pounding that for the fear of my life. But we are on normal difficulty, so I'm not. Oh, wow. I'm sorry. I'm still trying to get used to the combat again, so excuse me while I do that. Okay. Oh shit, <laughs> we just got knocked out. Come on, Batman, you're better than this. Oh wow, Batman's not better than this. Batman, you better not die. Put 
Okay, we're running. I'm so afraid of him because in the past games we've just ran from him. So the fact that we're fighting him now, I feel like he gets stronger in the future. Maybe something causes him to get stronger. I don't know too much. It's been a while, so talking about the lore is weird to me. And he should be dead. Hey, we killed, or we didn't kill him, but Batman doesn't kill. Keep that in mind. We did a lot of damage to the Killer Croc. See, Batman's a good guy. He saves people. Is that Commissioner Gordon? That looks like Commissioner Gordon. Well, he's not Commissioner yet, but it looks like uh, whatever his... I don't know if Gordon is his, is his last name or first name, actually. See, that tells you how little... I know about Batman. I also know a lot about Batman. Sorry, we got we have cutscenes. We got to pay attention. This action is and important to the story and everything. And there's a loud saw in the background. That's interesting. Anyways, I want to thank you for watching. This is a good place to end this episode. Uh, keep on supporting that Let's Play community. And if you really do want to support me, I, this is the first time I've ever asked you to do this. But please leave a like and leave a comment and subscribe or do something. And even if you don't like me, it's okay. That's fine. Uh, you, you don't have to do anything. You can do whatever you want. But uh, keep in mind that I'm doing this not for me, but just to uh, experience games and really share my feelings on games with people and allow myself to uh, make my game time productive and actually talk over it and be more comfortable with a microphone and talking in front of people and stuff. Anyways, I want to thank you again for watching. Keep on supporting that Let's Play community once again. Peace out!